Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Aptera once again. If you guys know what Aptera is, let us know down in the comments how excited you are for their company and their new product. I'm super excited and this weekend <laughs> we have a brand new reveal of their Gamma vehicle, which means that they're getting closer and closer to production. So let's take a look. It's, it's at the event called Fully Charged Live. This is the event anyway. It's an event hosted by Robert Lulewin, um, and they talk about everything, electric vehicles and electric houses, how to you know make everything greener and more electrified. All right, That's let's... all electric stuff. Yeah, all electric stuff. So like all the big manufacturers are there showing off their cars and stuff. So it's kind of like a car okay. festival or a car show, but electric only. All right, let's take a look. has been working on his vehicle with Chris Penny. Monroe is a big investor and also he's been helping uh, design the car so that it's easy to produce that looks pretty sleek yeah the so matte like airbrushed look looks really clean and it's solar powered we've made over the last three and a half years Direct hatchback is really good. And bleeding oh, yeah. edge engineering to make this vehicle a hundred watt hour per mile dream. Okay. I can't it wait. It looks to a see lot this. better. Yeah, me too. It looks a lot better than their their first iteration that's like all white. Oh, the one from like ten years ago, right? Yeah, it's just like, it looked like a airplane or something. You know what's different this time? What's different this time is, oh nice. Oh, look at those doors. What's different is that this time they have a $22 million grant from the state of oh. California. Is it, is it available for order or what? What is it? Yeah, you can pre-order it right now. I actually have a pre-order. After all of the oh. electric vehicles I've seen, this is the only one I've pre-ordered. Wow. Oh, all the controls are in the screen too. They they're huge fans of Tesla. You'll see what you'll see more of how they're huge fans of Tesla in a moment. So if you want to pre-order this solar electric vehicle, I'll leave a link down in this the description below and you'll take uh thirty dollars off of your pre-order cost. I like that knocking function though. Yeah. It seems pretty uh reliable. Uh, better than the foot swipe? Yeah. That thing is hard to use. Like, you have to be what is your carbon footprint? And a how professional more football friendly? player or something. Your carbon footprint is the total amount of carbon dioxide released by the actions done in day-to-day -day life. There are many ways to reduce your carbon footprint, from using reusable shopping bags it's a to buying from local shops. Science lesson one of the primary computers is your mobility. Yes. The one that the half the country is missed. of greenhouse gas emissions. <laughs> making it the single largest contributor in the United States. Knowing this, how can we take control of our own carbon footprint, help the planet, and This is a carbon-free car, and that's what we need right now. Here's how if to you want to go somewhere, you have to find a way to not emit so much carbon, and multiply it by or else we're pretty screwed. the total pounds of CO2 your vehicle releases into the atmosphere each year. Let's take a typical I mean, we're already pretty screwed, like, driving per year. Their vehicle Phoenix and Arizona, I mean Phoenix and the California, they're on like electric vehicles perpetual are fire. The right oh, as they are more energy efficient and can be charged using renewable energy sources. What the? It's a Tesla. However, the grid isn't 100 I'm telling you, they're huge fans of Tesla. In America, so, about 80% of the grid is still Are they trying to get Tesla to buy them? Because recently That's they've been the putting out like proposals to make so how can the Tesla charger the today? standard charger, which I tomorrow. I agree with. It's the just so much yeah. lighter. It's a small plug, quick charging. Day by sitting in the, sun. the huge CCS thing, I hate it. Miles per year or less. Yeah, they already have decent infra infrastructure too, right? Package. I think they're the sun, biggest infrastructure the out there for electric charging, charging aside from year. Electrify America. Indirectly, each solar mile also means less carbon dioxide released during the extraction, refinement, and transportation of fossil fuels. If you adventure further than the power of the sun can take you, Aptera can be plugged in and still use way less energy See, than a Tesla other plug vehicles right on there. the road today. Aptera uses only 100 watt hours per mile, compared to over 400 watt hours per mile for the average EV on the road today. 
This means the same amount of energy takes up Terra four times as far. Our commitment to solar power, aerodynamics, yeah. and simplicity has created one of the most efficient but, you know, if, if an planet. airplane was a brick, an they wouldn't go very far. We can't so now, why don't we turn the cars into airplanes? Let's take a look inside of the car, right? Hi everybody, I'm Jason Hill, Aptera's Chief of Design. I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about Gamma's interior and give you the inside story of the choices that we have made for Gamma and we're making for our Delta production vehicle. Our challenge with Aptera has always been how do we take this extremely efficient shape and create an interior environment that gives any occupant the best ability to be comfortable within yeah. that given space. We started with Alpha. That's probably one of their biggest the problems. Look at the um this interior. I love the red interior. Our, There's they have multiple ones, but the red interior I really like now that. One. Gamma, yeah. The which color design is really good. Represented the, the state of the art, but literally during these same days that we're we're talking about Gamma and showing you, we have all these decisions being taken for You see the smiley face? Yeah. Intent. Yeah. What we've done with Gamma's interior is we've created a, a it looks like an engaging space. That amphibious animal in relation to its comfort. Uh, axolotl but, with the little uh, like the fin. Axolotl. Yeah. Yeah. Certain burdens. So smiley. Unique relationship between you and this product. It look, it's kind of like the Tesla wheel. Oh yeah, yeah. See, they're huge fans of Tesla. I think they're just like providing little nods to Tesla. We want very honest material. We do not want to have a material that's masquerading as something else. So this informs us on our choices. Well, not this is like the standard so yeah. carpety looking give us material. We yeah. curate that into I, I wonder if they have like a material. luxury so option with, gamma, you'll be able with to like the leather that people want. Where you, where you look I'm not sure because right screen, now they're trying to get to production, right? So hopefully screens, you've got a center, they streamline the options a little at the start. Entertainment. And because, you're gonna because I want one, done, like now. Then, uh, <laughs> I don't want them to wait around just because they have to source materials for different the seat things. options. We can do that later. Uh, one of the unique things about Aptera, uh, Aptera design, Aptera engineering, is each generation that we share amongst ourselves and develop in-house and then share to you is, is improving um, by any and many metrics. Uh, this is a little bit unique, but it's also driving us towards a better product. You will see over the coming months how we we rapidly release so more information coming out as our it's estimate for Delta. It's supposed to be available 2023. Whoa. Yeah. They're That's supposed to be in production at the end of this year. No way. I'd believe that because Monroe is helping them with the production. Because he's an he's a pretty experienced engineer working on many of the different vehicles from like Ford and stuff. Um so I'd like to think that their estimate is accurate. Let's go gamma. 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 I wonder if the seats are gonna be high enough though. <laughs> Cause the car is so low and oh, yeah. like. It looks wow. like um, really sports easy. car seating There's position. There's a lot of space in the back too. Yeah. Tons of legroom. There's a lot of leg room, that's for sure. He has thigh support. You, you see, he has thigh support. It's very spacious. Yeah. And, um, I'm, with the I'm afraid they're... Like you're secure is there enough the thigh support? Like well, you know how Monroe originally said that the Tesla seats were garbage? And since he's so involved with making this vehicle, and he's also a big investor, hopefully he's helped them avo avoid those issues. It feels, it really does, like it, it has a sports car feel. Like sitting in here doesn't, I don't feel like I'm sitting in a sedan. The yoke is not what I expected. It's, I don't know, it feels really nice and... It's interesting. I think like the seat will be like, like adjustable yeah, it's pretty cool. to got this, uh, a certain yeah, degree. Cushions for your, for your thumbs. It just looks so low to me. Yeah. And I think it's a lot more intuitive and natural feeling than I expected. And with the eye line of the display, I think the design and the shape makes a lot of sense. And it... I can really see myself in it. I love the smile. And... Yeah. It looks really sleek in here. The, the finish on the seats and the, you know, the door panels and everything. Just all of it. It's just it's super sleek, kind of ultra lux. I like it. This I need to go sit in one. You're close to it. You could drive over to San Diego and sit in one if you start driving now. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, so the opening looks big though. Okay. Yeah. So so 40 mile per day charging and um Let's see. I think it's under 27,000 for the base model. That can go 250 miles of range. It's really nice. So I'm excited to see. Okay. okay. Well, let us know what you guys think. Um, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below. All right. And make sure you check out the link if you're interested in ordering one for yourself. All right, see you guys right, next we'll time. See you guys in the next one.